Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you're doing fantastic. So, we are continuing our reading of the Jesuits Constitution, the Society of Jesus. I found them to be quite interesting and wanted to dig into them myself because I hear so much about them. And I started to realize that people speaking about them are just going off of what others have said and not have they haven't actually read things for themselves. They've watched a couple of YouTube videos and felt that it was sufficient. So you know me. I like to dig into things and read what's actually there instead of just trusting hearsay. So in this section, it was talking about how people who are in the house, they call it, or in the college, they're not supposed to go out without permission. So if you're in the house and you're part of the society, you need to ask permission before you go out. They also mentioned how every eighth day, people have to do confession and they have to take the Holy Sacrament and that priests must also confess at least every eighth day. I found that quite unique. I didn't know priests did confessions that often. And then they contend that all members of the house need to apply themselves to Christian learning. So they really push them to learn Christian doctrine. And then he also went further and said, this is Father Ignatius, by the way. If one is to remain in the society, he is expected to have his sustenance and his lodging to be towards the characteristic of the poor. This includes your drink, your food, your shoes. You're going to have a more lowly status. You better not expect luxury and you better get used to it and humble yourself. What was really cool here also is that the scholastics are to do door-to-door -door begging and they need to do this quote for the love of God our Lord the period of three days and they have to do fulfill it on the days they're assigned and they do this to imitate the earliest members of the society of the Jesuits. Islam we're not encouraged to beg. The hand that gives is better than the hand that receives. But I think it's interesting that they took their wise scholastic scholars, right? And are making them do begging. They also contend that the scholastics begging is to humble them and aid them in their spiritual progress and to give glory to his quote divine majesty. We're learning a lot about their terminology for God. They also go further to explain the scholastics begging will also help them to get used to practicing the art of begging and they will learn to travel throughout parts of the world and get sustenance that way and not be shy from it. They also contend that members they need to be ready for whatever their profession requires of them and what is ever adjoined upon them by the Vicar of Christ. So the Vicar of Christ is the person who's the head honcho and that they should not ask or expect any reward in this present and transitory life. So we definitely learned quite a lot from this thus far in their constitution. It's over 500 pages that I printed and I find it to be very enlightening about how their organization aka society works. The begging is interesting. The poverty is to be reminded constantly to them. And further, just so it's clear, they have to also give testimonials about their experiences and their diligence in serving in hospitals. They have to also study quite extensively and they have to really pass a lot of necessities before they can go further. So encouraging education and poverty is something it appears to be quite popular in the Jesuit society. As we go further, we'll learn more. But I wanted to share those quick fact nuggets with you.